Hello folks, I'm Ryder Boost again and in this video I will continue to install Autodesk 2020 product line and focusing this time to InfraWorks 2020. Before I can start installation I do need to download all my installation files and the easiest way to get those is to go to autodesk.com website and from here you just try to find InfraWorks. So if I don't see it directly from a front page, I can go to all products and scrolling down to find InfraWorks. I do a left click and then to be able to download, I click free trial and now download free trial. Of course, you can download all those files from your Autodesk account if you have it already. For example, updating InfraWorks version, but this time I'm downloading those from Autodesk website directly. There are no major difference from where you download those from Autodesk direct website or Autodesk account. In both ways you can subscribe and activate your product after trial is ended. So from this screen I hit next, I select a business user, no big deal this time because I do want to have a trial anyway, English, next. I then need to log into my Autodesk account. If I don't have it, I can create one. It's free to do so. And once you have your account ready, activated, then you can use in this screen, sign in, email, and also password, sign in. You may get the following screen in where company name and some additional information is asked. And the most important step, as always tend to say, is down below. If I do hit begin download, it means that I will start web-based installation, which means that download size is smaller. But during installation, depending on selections I did, additional files will be downloaded. Instead, I suggest that you download all needed files first using Download Manager. So I left-click this Use Download Manager. This is a small program or plugin which will be downloaded into your PC with what you can actually download installation files. And this is same for all Autodesk major products. So I download this to my desktop, save, and then from my desktop or directly from my web browser, I do a left click to fire it up. And then I can select to where to download those installation files. It is suggested that you have a separate location for those because sometimes you may need to have quite a huge amount of space. So in my case I download those to my C drive. So I have install folder and then Autodesk 2020. I can change it of course but I will not start to download right now because I actually do have already downloaded all my InfraWorks files and I can show you. So if I open up my Explorer and go to C, Install and Autodesk 2020, I have previously downloaded all needed files. So InfraWorks 2020. And from here, I can also find my setup exa, which starts the installation process. So instead hitting OK, I just hit Cancel. But if you don't have those files, you hit OK. So I'm doing Cancel right now, closing my Download Manager. And then the next step will be to start installation. Before I hit setup.exe, I just close unneeded dialogs and windows, just closing those down. And now I have a clean screen. So I double click this setup.exe to start the installation of Autodesk InfraWorks. Before I actually go forward and hit install, I suggest that you check system requirements to see if you have enough uh, hardware capabilities from your PC side, also some release notes. And after checking those, you can continue and hit install. If it's your first Autodesk product, then I suggest to read the license agreement, then I accept and next. And now the only component in this screen is Autodesk InfraWorks. And you can check by doing left click if it has some extra components that you can select or deselect. So I do a left click. And I can see that uh, I do have a possibility to select Autodesk Revit interoperability for Autodesk InfraWorks. So I definitely want to have that. I do have 
my Revit 2020 already installed and this will be my default location for InfraWorks data. If I want to, I can change that. Right now I don't bother. So I left click again to close this down and then I can select installation path, program file support desk. I can see how much extra space do I need to install it, enough to make it. So I just hit install also from this screen. Next, InfraWorks starts to install and I can see how many components or products, plugins are left to be installed. And once this number gets zero, my product or products should be successfully installed. We can check this a bit later. Once the installation is finished, you should see similar screen in where products that were selected to have green check marks, which simply means that it was successfully installed, added as a component plugin to other products. Then you can close this dialog or directly launch your product. But I suggest that you first click on this close button and if a restart is needed, then to restart your PC first and then you can come back and test Autodesk InfraWorks 2020 first time. I don't need to restart right now, but I can check my Autodesk app which tells me do I have additional updates or components, plugins that can be added to Autodesk InfraWorks. So for that, I go to my ribbon and then I select Autodesk Desktop app. From here, after login, I can select my updates and from here I can check different additional content for my InfraWorks. For example, I do have some country kits available Austria, France, Germany, Norway, Sweden and UK. Those were available also for 2019 product. So it's not new for 2020, but it's good to see that those are already available. So for example, I select Norway and hit update. It will be downloaded first and then I can install it. So let's take a moment. Once it is installed, it will be removed from this screen and you can scroll down to see if some additional components are available. For example, I can see that uh, Revit interoperability add-in is updated, so I definitely want to update that and also to install that simple. And once I'm satisfied with all needed components, which I do want to install, I can then just close this screen and then I can fire my Autodesk InfraWorks 2020 for the first time. So I do double click on this icon and my Autodesk InfraWorks will start. If what's new in Autodesk InfraWorks web page opens, I will close this down. After checking what's new, then welcome to InfraWorks message. I hit continue and it may happen that I do need to log in first. You see that I'm logged in already, but you can use the same Autodesk account as before. You can't use Autodesk InfoWorks without first logging in, but it will remember it. So next time you start InfoWorks, you are ready to go. And also if you have updated InfoWorks, then all previous models are also available at your desktop. I have several ones, but those need to be updated because InfraWorks version was updated. If you would like to create a new model, then the easiest way to have some preliminary context is to use Model Builder, which enables to grab some content from any location in the world. Perhaps I'm using my hometown and do a snapshot from some particular area. You can see that maximum area is 200 square kilometers and currently I'm seeing about 20 square kilometers. So the biggest area is quite large that you can grab. But do remember that um, once your model is getting bigger, also it means that you need to have good hardware from a PC side. In general, just grab that area that you really need. You can select which content you want to add, like roads, buildings, imagery, elevation data. And you can also select by using rectangle or polygon or importing some line 
information that will found your area of interest. You can give a name to your model and then you create model. From this screen you can exit, meaning that you can close because your model will be prepared in the cloud first and then you can download it. So the next step is to wait a bit. Once you see a tile appearing at your desktop, then you're ready to go to open it up. So let's wait a bit again. Once my InfraWorks model is ready to be downloaded from the cloud, I can see that a tile is appearing at my desktop. So I do a left click. First time, it takes a bit longer to download all the content from the cloud. So it may take time and uh, also it depends how big your model area was or how detailed the information in that location is available. Therefore, let's do wait a bit. I can see that uh, my model is now loading and it represents the area that I selected through Model Builder. Once it's loaded, I can then see my InfraWorks 2020 full user interface, which is a bit different from a classical Autodesk product. So you don't see a ribbon, but instead your major tools are divided into those groups. For example, main tools are under this eye icon. If you left click, you can see a ribbon and then you do left click again and all tools are then available from those lists. You have tools for roads and bridges and stormwater design and then some general tools to change appearance and settings. If you want to activate or deactivate some country kits that you installed previously, you can do that from model properties. So I left click model properties and then I can see content, country kits and I can select all my country kits or just a couple of them. Pay attention to that changing content packs will regenerate the entire model. So I hit apply and then OK. And it takes a while once my model is updated. OK, I hit OK to close this and then I can re-navigate to my favorite viewpoint. I can zoom in and see the detail of my model. I can then focus on to my design area and start creating new design by using those tools available from the top menu bar. By that, I will end this video. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and you will be the first to get notified about my new videos. Bye bye.